Hey everyone, it's Luke here, and yes, it's been probably three or four months since I last made a video. Just been lots of changes going on in my life, and I needed to be present and basically like check out of the internet for a little while to handle some of those things, but it's mostly good just, uh, you know, adulting, basically. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in a new place. I moved into my own home, and this is still very much a work in progress. I think this side is going to change for various reasons, but that is not what we're here for today. We are checking out Espa's comeback with Savage. I did listen to the teaser, and it sounds really interesting. Still different somehow from what they've done before, but very like cutting edge sound. <laughs> I'm curious to see if it will actually sound like the teaser, so without further ado, let's check it out. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. <laughs> they are into the thick of it. <laughs> it's a vibe already. These visuals, though, the camera work, the eye. <laughs> I'm liking the build up. They all look so like on point. Sounds very epic. I can't tell if it's building up or not. I feel like there's some blend of Next Level and Black Mamba in here. I'm just enjoying this, but honestly, like, I love all the colors, all the lights. <laughs> Get it, Giselle. I feel like, you know, this is the next step in their evolution. That hot pink though? Oh, that's such a nice, like... <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know what to talk about because there's so much going on. Oops, I just accidentally paused it. <sighs> Ning Ning's vocals. Ning Ning winter vocals, like, it's a KO. <laughs> Okay, Cyborg Karina. I know she has the power glove. I listened to some of the other tracks and it like gave them each a role, like a title. Okay, there's the eyes. Is that how we say it? I really like the pink scenes, like the streaks in the hair, it's just, it's so, um, like my eyes just gravitating towards it. Okay, so I saw, I saw a screenshot of this, so that's Navi's? Is she like the god of Kwangya? <laughs> the goddess? Oh, what a nice bridge though. Okay. These are some new animations. I don't know if those are here to stay, but it's giving me like Winx Club Sailor Moon. Okay, breakdown. <laughs> Especially with Next Level and this song, I almost feel like there's some kind of operatic elements. Like they really take you on a journey each song. <laughs> Those vocals are taking you to church. What? <laughs> 
What is that symbolism though? Wow, there was, oh, it's not done. Or is it done? Okay, I think it's done. But wow, is there a lot to unpack? <laughs> I, I feel like I didn't do the video justice because I was just like trying to process what was happening. This is definitely one of those ones you need to watch more than once. I don't think I'm gonna do that today because I just don't have time for intricate editing <laughs> right now. Um, I just wanted to give you guys my first impression, but as always, Espa really captivates me. You know, they bring us into their world, into Kwangya and beyond. And I, I'm just really curious to see where the storytelling goes. I know they had like one episode that really went a little more in depth into the universe, the cinematic universe kind of thing. And I hope they keep giving us things. And I know they're doing a lot of like augmented reality, like there's a version of the album I kind of want to get that has augmented reality things and there's an SM AR app. Like, I'm just curious to see where all of these developments go. But coming back to the song and the music video, I think it was really good. For, for the first time listening to it, I felt like it was already catchy and I can tell it's gonna grow on me. Um, I guess what I was trying to describe is that, not that I wanna compare it to Bohemian Rhapsody, but in the sense that you know, it's kind of like an odyssey, there, there's a journey, there's like very much different chapters to the song. And I find that very interesting because I feel like recently songs have been getting shorter and more like TikTok oriented, whereas Espa feels like they're almost going in the opposite direction and making their songs longer and just giving you a lot to eat up and I'm eating it up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, but obviously I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna have to listen to it more. I listened to some of the other songs and I think Yippee Yippee is my favorite off the mini album. But uh, yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here to see what Espa delivers every time and I'm excited to check out the live performances too. So let me know what you thought about Espa's comeback in the comments down below. Uh, it feels really good to be making a video again. I don't know how often I'll be coming on here, but I am trying to think of some ideas and I'm always working on stuff in the background. So I hope to see you guys again soon. Let me know how you're doing and remember to stay awkward. <laughs> Bye.